Commissioner General of Elections Saman Sri Ratnayaka speaking to News First said that the date to call for nominations for the local government election will be announced on or before Thursday. He said that the Election Commission plans to conduct the election before the 10th of March 2023. The Election Commission said that the date to call for nominations for the 2023 local government election will be announced during the first week of January. As per the directions of the Election Commission, the date to call for nominations for the local government election will be announced before Friday. As the Election Commission, we have completed the preliminary work to accept the nominations. We have completed work on the Gazette notification regarding the the district returning officers and the returning officers for the local government institutions. Political parties have also completed their lists. What is left is to announce the date to call for nominations. The election commission is prepared for that. Retired Sri Lanka Army Colonel WMR Vijay Sundara had filed an application with the Supreme Court seeking a writ order invalidating the preparations that are being made for the local government election. The Chairman of the Elections Commission and its members, Finance Secretary, Prime Minister, Cabinet Secretary and the Attorney General were named as respondents in this application. The application was filed as per Article 140 of the Constitution of Sri Lanka. According to the Elections Commission, the cost for the local government election is no less than 10 billion rupees. The petitioner questions as to how an election that is to be held at a time when the country's revenue had dropped drastically would benefit the country and her people. The petitioner also pointed out that 8,711 local government members are a burden to the country's economy and questioned on how the election would be beneficial at a time when the election reforms are being made and when legislation is being drafted to regulate campaign financing. The petitioner notes that if money is printed to hold an election based on the failure to secure a loan for the expenses, it would lead to a considerable spike in inflation that would set back the economy, leading to a shortage of fuel and gas, as well as extended power cuts. The petition says this would lead to serious social issues in the country. Retired Sri Lanka Army Colonel WMR Vijay Sundara requests the Supreme Court to peruse the documentation produced to the court and to issue an interim order suspending the election preparations until the petition is taken up for examination and a verdict is delivered or for a period that the court deems suitable. United National Party Chairman Bajir Abe Wardana said that this is the time to review if it is wise to print money for an election. If the opposition is planning on going for an election by printing money and leading the country into anarchy, that is very unfortunate. For three years, the tourism sector suffered, hotels were closed down and many were struggling to settle their loans. Tourism is raising its head slowly. If the expectation is to call for an election to pay the salaries of another 8,000 members, that would lead to a slowdown in tourism. Calling for an election at this time would be detrimental to the country. This is not the time to waste 20 billion rupees on an election. State Minister Shanta Bandara says the cost for the election needs to be reconsidered. More than 3.8 million families seek assistance to survive. There is a risk of malnutrition as well. Are we to take care of these 3.8 million families or call for an election? A decision needs to be made. The people want to cut down the 8,000 plus local government members to around 4,000. There is no issue in calling for an election. However, the post-election period must be taken into consideration and the Treasury must agreed to release over 10 billion rupees for the election. Cabinet spokesperson and Minister Bandulu Gunawadana says that political parties have been advised to prepare their nominations lists despite the financial issue. There is a funding issue. However, the government policy related to an election is that all political parties must be prepared for the election and have their nominations ready. I believe that all the parties are engaged in this process.